What's up, y'all? Okay, so I thought I would do a collective reading for you guys before I go to bed tonight. Um, no filter, no makeup tonight. This is me. <laughs> so, I'm going to do a collective reading. Okay, so some of you in this collective, I'm feeling like you've been kind of under um, some sort of an illusion, possible wishful thinking, but recently you have been given um, new clarity to the situation. Um, there's been a mental breakthrough here that whatever it is that you have had this wishful thinking about, you now know that it was just an illusion, that it wasn't real, whatever it was, okay? Um, something you were manifesting, looking into a little too deeply. <sighs> yeah. It's made you very emotionally insecure, this this fantasy that, that came out that made you realize it wasn't actually what it seemed, okay? Um, and it was a, yeah. You were under the illusion that you had a secure relationship with your person that you're with. Um, and it seemed at first that you guys were divine counterparts, see, king and queen of cups. But you have since realized that this is not exactly a divine counterpart relationship. That even though you're very similar, it's just not working out. <laughs> you have a lot of differences and it's caused you a lot of heartache and pain. See, that means heartache, pain, grief, sorrow. Um, and, and this mental breakthrough, this clarity that you've been given, even though it hurts, I know it does. I know it's hurting you. I know you're going through all kinds of depression over it. You really thought something was something that it wasn't. And yeah, yeah, you regret this. You regret this illusion that you've been under, that you've had yourself under. Um, this has been a very, very disappointing outcome to this. Um, this was a huge conflict with you in yourself that you have been battling. And with the chariot, now that you've had this mental breakthrough, you now have the ability to put a to make a new goal, new plan, and take action and move towards that new new plan. Now, spirit, what's the new plan? What is what's this plan that this person needs to undertake and focus on? Um <laughs> Yeah, see this conflict that you've been under, you, you're You've gotten to the point that you are ready. You can you can just challenge anything and persevere. You you have really really broken through that, and you know that you can handle anything now. Um, and this, you've been on edge. You've been very paranoid and all this, and it, it puts you on guard. And but like I said, this conflict. This is why you're this is why you're this way. This is what what's put you under this. And all this regret and this disappointment from this mental clarity and this pain from this wishful thinking that this person was your person. It's not your person. And that's okay. Your person's out there. Yeah, your person is out there. <laughs> See? You're the Empress. You are the bitch of all bitches. Okay, and that's the energy you need to be in. You need to have confidence in yourself. You need to believe in yourself. You need to love yourself. Leave that baggage behind, okay? All this, you're like, man, this isn't fair. Why do I have to go through this? Why does this always happen to me, me, me? Because it's a necessary rite of passage. Because if this didn't happen, you wouldn't learn the lesson that you've learned. Okay? You've been manifesting love. You have been manifesting true love. And that is why you put yourself under this illusion. Because you want it so bad. 
Okay, and this, this manifestation is going to come to fruition when the time is right, when your angels know it's the time is right. They're making your path for you. They're paving that path. So you have to follow the path. You have to go with the flow of things and try to see everything with, you know, clear, clear glasses, not rose-colored glasses. Okay, don't keep looking into something that's not true or something you just want it to be true. You have put yourself in this. You've done most of the, the work here. Okay, you overly invested yourself in this connection. And for what? It didn't come to fruition, you see? It didn't work out because it's not right for you. Not because you're not good enough. Not because you're not pretty enough. Not because you're not handsome enough. Not because, you know, your boobs aren't big enough. Or your pussy's not tight enough. Or your dick's not big enough. But because it's not fucking right for you. Okay? The goal here is for you to be happy. This isn't going to make you happy. All this is going to do is leave you backstabbed. Defeated. Hurt. Grieving. Because this person's toxic. The only thing this person wants you for is sex. There's no emotion in there. They don't care about you in a very loving way. They want to fuck the hell out of you. And that is it. Okay, you've been restless. You've had this. This has been heavy on your mind. You, you just cannot shake this. You haven't been able to shake it. And the reason you haven't been able to shake it is because you all you want to do is jump in head first for that love that you've been seeking that companionship because you're lonely you've been lonely you want affection you want true love you want things to be real because thus far what you've been having isn't real and look boom what do you see that's the justice card justice you're gonna get your justice, okay? This is your justice. Your realization, your self-awareness, your self-love, your attitude change, your, your pessimistic attitude turning into an optimistic attitude is your justice. This person not being able to get away with just fucking you is your justice. See, you've learned a lot of lessons here. And it's about yourself. You're going to persevere, baby. And that true love is coming your way when the time is right. So, so much for being in a self-imposed imprisonment anymore. You have broken free from that mental prison. And you're going to be able to balance your work life and your home life beautifully. And guess what? The Queen of Pentacles energy is coming out. So that tells me that you are a bad, bad bitch. You are independent. You're going to make your own life. You're going to make your own wealth. And you're going to be happy. But the first person you need to learn to love is yourself. And you need to be strong because you are strong. This is the right here. You're strong. You're determined. You're going to make the things happen for yourself. And you put that kind of energy that you put into this shit storm that you had. You put that kind of energy invested into your life, your money, your work. You know how successful you're going to fucking be? Think about it. Invest in you, baby. Invest in yourself, boo-boo. I love you. I hope you have a great weekend. And I'll see you in the morning.